Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Today I have something special for you. Look at this. This is, this is the Yaw 2 motion simulator. It's still on Kickstarter. It's a prototype, but in this video I will show it to you and uh, I will show you some different games so that uh, we can see how it works, how, how the motion works with this stuff and I'm really looking forward to that. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodgust VR, Opperman Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Virtual Escape and Slim Beats. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Oh, oh. Oh nein, oh nein. Oh mein Gott. <laughs> Oh shit! <lacht> geil, 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 geil. Ach du Scheiße! <lacht> oh Mann! Genau. Ja, 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 ja. Oh mein Gott. <lacht> oh fuck. Ach du Scheiße. Geil. <lacht> oh Gott. Ist das geil. <lacht> Wahnsinn. Oh Gott. Oh, yeah! Oh! <lacht> oh, Mann! Oh! Oh, Mann! Ja, geil, geil! <lacht> ja, geil! Oh! Oh Gott! Puh! Hm? Oh! Ja? Ah! Oh mein Gott! Ja, jetzt... Oh Mann. Jetzt bin ich gespannt. Oh yeah. Und, 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 und. Oh shit. Oh, oh Gott. Oh yeah. Oh Gott. Oh krass. Oh, <lacht> oh, Scheiße. Juhu. Wow. Wow. <lacht> uh. Oh, Gott. Oh, mein Gott. Ach du Scheiße. <lacht> oh, ne. Wow. Oh. Wow. Das killt ein. Oh mein Gott. Oh Gott. Puh. Oh. Nein, 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 nein. Wo geht's? Es geht noch weiter. Oh. 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 Gott. Okay.
Ah, okay. Okay. Oh my god. God. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Guy. Woo. Hammer. Wow. Oh. Guy. Geil. Geil, ist das geil. Wow. Komm schon, nein! <lacht> oh, geil, 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 geil. Oh. Nein, nein, nein. Oh, shit. Nein! Nein! <lacht> I survived. Project Cast 2. Ja. Oh. Krass. Okay. 
Wow. Ja, das. Ja. Wow. What the fuck? That was so bad. Oh, okay. Mein Gott, oh mein Gott, oh mein Gott. Yeah. Okay guys, so this is, was the Yard 2 motion simulator. As you can see, I played uh, different games, the roller coaster, the flight simulator and the racing simulator. And I can tell you this was, this was really, really immersive. It's, it's such a huge difference when you ch just sit here in a, in a chair and play this, or if you sit in this motion simulator, it just feels so real. Especially in the first, in the in the roller coaster, it, I didn't even notice that I that I sit in a in a virtual roller coaster. Of course, the, the in-game graphics, but but it felt so real. And the cool thing is that there is, I, I didn't see any latency. It's just synchronous with the with the in-game uh, stuff. So it doesn't feel that like you're going into a. Uh, corner in, into a curve and it's just uh, doing that half a second later. It's just synchronous. It, it's nearly no latency. Very, very cool. And so I, uh, they brought this, the seat with this chair here. You can, you can um, 
use your own chair that's very cool so you don't need this one you, if you have a very comfortable seat you can just put it there you don't need to buy the the seat here but uh, this one here was very comfortable um but all i have to complain about two two things of course <laughs> uh, so be careful it's not for beginners guys don't buy this if you are not used to that stuff because the first thing is it causes motion sickness and <laughs> if you if you uh, sit on the roller coaster that was really hard for my for my stomach i you really need perfect vr legs for that uh, i think i couldn't stand another uh, round of the roller coaster it was really awesome it felt real but you really get motion sickness from that also for the racing simulation a little bit but you can of course get used to that if you play it uh, longer and the second thing is the setup is really really complicated i have i wouldn't have any chance if they wouldn't come here with uh, four people and help me with that and um, that was so cool. Even they, they had some sometimes problems to uh, to calibrate that and stuff. It's a complicated setup, but of course it's it's just um, prototype type. They will improve it a little bit, but also in the final version, uh, though it's not for beginners. We must be honest here. So they, uh, why did they do that? Uh, they want to bring it to home and arcade users. Um, the difference to the YAR1 is that it's more precise and also stronger. The feedback and the movement is uh, stronger than the YAR1. And of course, the seating position is much more natural because you sit in the real seat. Also, it's modular. That means when we check out here on Kickstarter, we can uh, buy this from, uh, where, where is it? 1,090 bucks here, but this is without seat and only two degrees of freedom like this year and this year uh, if you want three degrees of freedom this year so you can turn around 360 then it's 1470 bucks but without seat yeah so you have to place your your own seat there um, but you it, it's modular after the kickstarter campaign when it's out on the market you can choose between different seats a comfortable seat and even more comfortable seat and stuff um, that's cool. It's very, very modular. Also, they will uh, later they will perhaps implement profile sharing. So when, for the setup, when it's really hard to set it up, uh, then somebody else perhaps uh, already uploaded a profile for the game that you want to play, and then you don't need to calibrate everything. That's that's cool. And uh, now um, for the development. So if you want to um, get. Um, your game supported by Yard 2 and uh, then um, they have a service development kit for, kit for Unity and Unreal and then you can just implement or just contact them and um, then you can implement the stuff or they can implement that. Um, so all in all it's great for the support um, of the headsets. You, you've seen that I played it a uh, wireless with the Oculus Quest 2 so that was even the complicate, most complicated setup, I think. But you can, of course, also play it with all the other headsets like Valve Index and stuff. This is not a problem. It supports all the VR headsets. And uh, I, I had a lot of fun. It was very new for me. I never tried this at home here. It's such a cool thing. And um, it was a lot of fun. But please, guys, it's only for seated games. You cannot, it doesn't make sense to play shooters with that. But on the, uh, uh, they also told me that they want to use it for working so the, that you can uh, relax in a position. You have a desk here in front of you and then you can place your um, um, keyboard and mouse and stuff and then you can relax and change the position so we can work more comfortable. Yeah, guys. So that's it. I, I really love that stuff. If you want to support it, I will put a link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description below and then you can... Check it out. <laughs> wow. Absolutely crazy. I, I It's crazy. But guys, please notice motion sickness and complicated setup. That's the things that I, I really have to mention. Um, so guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you 
want more stuff about VR, just subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!